All right. So, of course, the big story out of last night, besides the Islamophobia, besides the racism, besides the dog whistles, besides the completely entire, I mean, the audience was completely white. Maybe I, you, know, you have to get a Where's Waldo map to find some people of color. Uh, besides all of those things that really should piss people off, uh, the big story was Melania Trump's um, plagiarism of Hillary Clinton. So let me play that clip. Of the the values that you work like, hard for what you, you work want hard in life. For what you want in life. That your word is, that your, your, word bond. is your bond. That you, that you do, do what you say, say you're going to do. Your that you treat people, that you treat people with respect. With dignity and respect and because, because we, want we want our children, children and all children in this nation to know that the only limit to the height of your achievements is the reach of your dreams and your willingness and your to work hard for, work them. for them yeah so this is the big takeaway from last night so clearly it is plagiarized clearly it is um ridiculous that no one caught it um, no one really, everyone's pointing the fingers at, e at, at each other. Some of the uh, committee members from the RNC, they're pointing towards Melania Trump saying that this is her fault. Um, some of the staff members from uh, Donald Trump's team is saying, no, this is staffers' fault. Everyone is looking for that person who's to blame. Um, I mean, it's identical with very little variations. It was a long speech, so there was a lot more to the speech, but clearly this section, if they had put if they put her words exactly in quotations inside of Google just 10 minutes before she got out on stage, they would have found out it would have gone straight to Hillary Clinton. I'm sorry, to Michelle Obama. Would have gone straight to Michelle Obama. So there's no, there's no real excuse from a professional level for her team um, to allow her to go out there with, uh, unless, unless she insisted, these are my words. I don't know. We don't know what's happening in the background, but everyone is making hay out of this this is all everyone's talking about all day it is funny i mean from a ha ha he he you know this is kind of funny kind of situation it, it, it's funny that this type of error would happen on a national level um part of me because because i don't know man i'm trying to get rid of my humanity but i'm still a human being i i, I kind of feel bad for the lady uh, because if she wasn't if she wasn't ready for the ire of of let's say half of the american electorate she she surely walked into something last night that she was not ready for uh so but it, you know that's just the you know that's the that's the that's the little bit of humanity that's left in me that actually feels bad for her. Uh, the other side of me is like that shit was hilarious. I mean, Twitter took her to task. Actually, started by Jesse Williams, the uh, uh, the actor from Grey's Anatomy, who gave the speech at the BET Awards a few weeks ago. He started famous Melania Trump quotes, uh, and he started with I believe um, he started with. Uh, something from Harriet Tubman and uh, oh I could have freed I could have freed a lot more slaves if they had known they were slaves and um, you know hyphen Melania Trump <laughs> you know they went through the 90s um, they went through the 90s and just took all the hip-hop uh, it was all a dream I used to read word up magazine Melania Trump I mean they drug her they drug her for they're still dragging her. Matter of fact, if I look at Twitter right now, I guarantee you that hashtag is, is still in the top 10 because it was on the top 10 all night. Um, it, and it actually goes to the fact that, man, you, I, you, have to be, you have to be a little bit dead on the inside to do something in public life. Because if you ever mess up in public life, man, people are going to rip you to shreds. And to be sure, I don't feel bad for her, mainly because it, had this been Michelle Obama, hell, Michelle Obama made always consistently makes amazing speeches and she cannot say anything without the entire half of the electorate just saying that she's some type of, you know, angry black woman or that she's a disgrace or that she's a shame, you know, it's a shame, right? People attacking her looks, attacking your, you know, so, so in that regard, it's just like, once you enter into this political blood sport, you know, it's, it's all, you know, it's all fair. It's, uh, you know, it's all fair and love and war and hatred and blood, you know, cause that's what we do. We rip people to shreds.
Um, so, you know, I don't feel too bad because it would have been worse for Michelle Obama. Like, they would legitimately call for President, for Barack Obama, Senator Obama at the time, to step down and no longer run because his wife plagiarized something. This is how ridiculous. I mean, well, I'll leave that one alone. I was going to say something else. I'll, leave it. I'll keep that one to myself. But this is, this is how ridiculous we are in the political world.